Hey guys, Johnny here from PC New, and today I'm going to be something, showing you something I'm really excited about. It's basically just this program I've been working on for a long time, and it's, it's something special. And what it does is it turns your screen into a mirror. I know it sounds impossible, but I made it. I've been working on this for a long time. As you can see, there's tons of complicated code to this, but you don't need any of that because I'll just be exporting a nice, clean EXE for you guys to use. So yeah, this is Mirror version 1.0. It's basically a revolutionary program that me and my friends have been designing. And it basically just changes your computer screen into a mirror. So I guess I'll just show you guys how it works. As you can see, it's a really basic layout. Oops, sorry. It's still a bit buggy. But yeah, it's a really basic layout and it's really easy to use. Basically all you have to do is click this screen button to turn your screen to a mirror. Then once you're in, hit F4 to get back out. I'll give you a little demonstration on how it works. So yeah, basically, this is what it's going to look like. It's not the greatest, it's still pretty blurry, but, you know, what do you expect? It's recording your, changing your desktop into a mirror. Oh god, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but my computer is making a really, really loud noise right now. I guess changing your desktop into computer is pretty hard on it, so yeah, if this works for you, I guess expect loud noises. <laughs> so yeah, this is pretty much what it looks like. Um, it's not the greatest, it's still in beta, but hey, it's a step towards where we want to go, right? So when you're ready, just press F4 and it'll bring you straight back to the menu. I'll do that now. And that's how it works, so yeah. I'll be putting up a link in the description later. You can download that and try it out for yourself. Hopefully it'll work. If it doesn't, try sending this video to your friends or just send the file to your friends and see if it works for them. I don't know if it only works on 64-bit Vista or 32-bit or any of those specs, but yeah, just try it out, send it along, and come back next time for some more great videos. Thanks.